guys often wonder why Frank is sitting here. His food is right there. Excuse me, I gotta wash my hands. <laughs> I touched his cat food. Right. Oh, and a fly again. A fly. No. Okay. So there's a lot going on today. There's a lot going on today. I, I'm doing probably no less than two or three videos at once. <laughs> so if I get confused or look confused, I probably am. All right, so today we are going to work more on our freezer meals. Okay, our make-ahead freezer meals. This is, and I want to, oh, you know what? Hi, welcome back to my tiny retirement. I'm Christine and as I just said, there's a lot going on today. Um, but right now, in this video, we are going to work on my freezer meal playlist, uh, which is an open collaboration that I'm hosting. If anyone has a freezer meal idea, a make-ahead freezer meal idea, I would love to include it in my playlist. Um, please put in the title, hashtag tiny freezer meals and shoot me an email let me know you've got one that you've got a freezer meal to include in the playlist I don't do anything with your emails I don't keep them well I might send you a happy birthday if I know it's your birthday um uh oh Gerard's getting in trouble did you cause trouble out there uh, he, was, he got bored oh he got bored yeah. okay uh but today for right now at this moment See how easily I'm getting distracted today? This is why it's taking me a long time to do anything. <laughs> well, they're having a good sale uh, at the grocery store. I don't usually buy grocery store meats. I mean, especially right now. They're so expensive. Everything is so expensive. But they don't taste good. So if I'm going to do a freezer meal, if I'm going to get these, these are definitely going to be a freezer meal, and I'm going to season the behebis out of it and put it away for a freezer meal, throw it in my crock pot, maybe throw it in the oven. Uh, it depends. It depends. Maybe even the instant pot. I don't know. Maybe grill it. Who knows? I might go wild and grill it. Oh, if you have a smoker. I wonder how that would taste. Anyway, these are chicken thighs. And today we are going to be making something called Mississippi chicken. I had never, ever heard of it. And now all of a sudden I am seeing it everywhere and I thought what the heck is this stuff what is the appeal it looks really good and easy so here we go I'm going to open all this chicken up I'm going to and we're also you're in for a treat too because we are also making this for supper so you'll actually get to see Mr. Tiny Retirement be my taste tester and we'll see what he thinks. He usually likes everything, but now and again, now and again, he's like, yeah, let's order pizza. And I usually agree. <laughs> so what you're going to need, chicken thighs. I like bone in, skin on. I, from what I hear, usually the preferred method is with uh, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless. I am not a fan. I'm not a fan. I like the flavor that this all imparts, these, this is all part of the chicken as far as I'm concerned. You will need any oju gravy packet mix. You will need ranch seasoning. And I know a lot of you folks out there make your own ranch, your ranch dressing mix. That's what this is, ranch dressing mix. And you will need, of course, pepperoncinis. That is it. Oh, and butter. And butter. In fact, I'm not sure you even need to season these things with salt and pepper. I've seen nothing by way in any of the recipes I looked at that said season with salt and pepper to taste. I've seen nothing like that. So let's give it a try. Let's dive in. I'm going to I'm going to rinse and pat these dry and I'll be back with you when we're ready to put these together. <laughs> All right, so I have ended up, I have put four chicken thighs in each of these bags to put away. 
which is just about right for Mitch and me. I eat one, sometimes two. He'll eat two, and there'll be one left over for lunch the next day. And because we're having this tonight, and I'm also going to be putting some dinners away using three of these to make three dinners for my mom, I've got seven chicken legs in here that we're going to have chicken legs, chicken thighs that we're going to have tonight. So, but let me show you. Let's. I do that all the time. I set stuff in front of you guys. So, here's what you do. Here's what you do, you guys. And seriously, I'm using this jar of it. But you can, I mean, if you make your own, that's great. Use that. Oh, I'm so itchy. I've got, you guys, it's mosquito season out there. It's driving me crazy. Okay, I'm going to put two tablespoons, or if you're using the packets, you know, like this, except for the ranch dressing, just put the whole package in, one in each. One, two, that'd be about a packet. One, two, one, two. Okay, done with the ranch dressing. And now, package of this. Oh wait, I'm missing, I'm missing two. Oh dear. So, package in each, dump it right in. Oh, that smells really good. What a shock. Dump it right in. Dump it right in. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. And this is for dinner tonight and for mom's make ahead meals. You guys, we had something scary happen with mom this morning. Mitch went to the store for me. I was missing a couple of things. And he dropped off a couple of meals for mom. She wasn't home. We went up to the grocery store, saw my mom's car, and said, oh, she's here. She was in her own world, and she didn't even recognize him. I don't think she recognized him. And she hasn't been, and I've talked with her since, and I don't think she realized she bumped into him. You guys, I'm, I'm really worried. This is all new territory for me. So there, thank you for listening to that, you know. But you know what, what are friends for, right? So. Pepperoncinis. Uh, you know what, because this is a freezer meal and I don't want it to get dried out, I'm gonna put a little oil in here, a little olive oil. And I wouldn't even say a quarter cup, but just cause I know I'm putting it in the freezer. I don't want them to dry out. And here we go. Pepperoncinis. These are medium heat. Boom. 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 Because this is more chicken, I'm going to put more in. And so as not to waste, I'm putting 
some of the pepperoncini juice. And one more thing, only because I know I won't remember to do this later. Uh, when you cook this, you want to put a pat of butter on it. If you're going to bake it in the pan, it, it, and it does add to the flavor, it is a necessary ingredient. It adds to the flavor. Where's my knife? Oh my good lord, you guys, everything's disappearing on me. Can you guys even see me? Did that help? Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. This really smells good. Now the other thing I've seen people add to this is grated garlic. All right, and I'm gonna give this a good mix. This is for supper tonight. So I'm gonna give this a good mix. I would imagine you cook this like you would cook any of your other chicken thighs. Uh, for me, it's going to be 325 degrees, and it'll probably be, I'll check it in 45 minutes, and chances are I'll cook it for another probably 20 minutes, because I like my chicken falling off the bone, well done, crispy skin. There you go. What do you guys think of that? Does that look like something you want to pop in the oven and put in your tummy? It sure does to me. All right, so we're just going to set that aside for right now. And try not to stab myself. And this I have already marked. You probably can't see it. It's probably going to be backwards. Um, and I just dated it and put Mississippi chicken. And then when we're ready, I'm going to give this a good... I think I'm going to close it. And with the juice that's in there... There isn't much, but I'm going to make sure that it's all nice and liquidy. Let's see if I can't I'll be able to get a better mix if I get the air right. Here we go, get as much of that air out. And you know, I probably ought to be doing with this with my vacuum sealer, but I'm not. And there you go. Mississippi chicken. For the freezer. We are filming. All right, guys, it's the end of the day for me. Time to start supper. It has been a busy, busy day for me. <laughs> okay, you guys. I took one of those frozen loaf. The light's not right. <laughs> I gotta back up. My light's not right. Huh. I'm standing in the shadow when I do this. No, no, no. Uh, anyway, this is what I ended up with. <laughs> It didn't rise. It feels pretty soft. So we're gonna let that cool. Um, I've done a couple of meals for mom. She loves deep fried pork chops. And so that's what she gets with some noodles and she loves beets, so she gets beets. But tonight we're finishing up this video and I'm gonna show you this Mississippi chicken. Chicken thighs. All right, I have sprayed my pan down with nonstick. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do this. 
you guys can't see. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> can you smell it over there? I can smell it just looking at it. Like Oh my gosh, it's so good. It smells so good. Alright, so mom is getting some of this. What? Yeah, some. Alright, and I've got it in I mean they're crammed in, but they're on a nice single layer. And I've got six. And I'm going to put a pepperoncini on top of, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Because I don't have enough. So the, I don't. I didn't take out enough, to be honest. So I'm gonna cut them up and spread them out. I'll just cut this boring part out. <laughs> this looks really good. It smells even better. It has been marinating. I'm just doing this right in the oven. This is also a very good. Wow, we don't have good light in here today. What is going on? Usually it's perfect. What? The lighting. It's really weird out this afternoon. It is. All right, so I'm doing this. Oh, is that it? That's all there is. All right, I'm gonna spread these out. I just cut them in, you know, little rings. Can you see? Probably not. But anyway, I have just cut these out in little rings. I'm going to spread them out over the chicken. And these little things of butter that I put in, I, I really just did that so that it was convenient, so that they'd be here. Every little thigh gets some butter. Oh no, Gerard, there's no butter for you. And I've got a little more butter than I needed, but that's all right. That's all right. And I am not going to waste this juice. There we go. These are the little trays that the chicken came in. You know, for those of you that buy all of your meat through the grocery stores. You know what these are great for? These are great for your little seedlings when you up pot for like the first time. These are excellent seedling trays. So I keep them, I wash them. Plus off. I'm trying to save on the landfill situation, you know what I mean? And the trash, you know, especially for those of you that either haul your own trash or maybe pay for your own trash. Any the, anything we can do to reduce all of that. All right, this is gonna go into the oven uncovered and because it's chicken I am going to cook it at probably 325 I like to cook <laughs> Jared's dropping his toys off the couch trying to make trying to make daddy jump and pick them up for him anyway I'm going to put this in the oven for at 325 and in about 45 minutes I will check it but I'm almost convinced that at a low temperature, I'm going to need a good another 20 minutes. But I'm going to check just to make sure because I've never done this before. So there you go. And when it's done, I'll tell you exactly how much time. Smell this is ridiculous. All right, I just took this out of the oven. My suggestion would be serve this with garlic bread and a salad, which is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, so I did end up putting this in for another 20 minutes on top of the 45. Oh, it is falling off the bone. Let 
we are having this with some garlic toast. I just made some scape butter. Notice I am planning to have two. <laughs> I made some scape butter, garlic scape butter, and I smeared it on some bread that I just made. You saw that earlier in the video. And I'm toasting it. So we're going to have some garlic bread with this. Mitch, um, we figure if we get hungry later, we'll have a salad out of the garden. But for right now, Mitch is just going crazy over this. So. have to have enough of this delicious juice to make the bread useful. <laughs> you need to tell me what you think of it. You're going to burn your mouth. Oh, that is such a unique flavor. <laughs> so good. But what about the garlic bread oh, that I picked? The scapes picked right out of our garden this morning. I can smell the garlic. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. That's really garlicky. If the scape, Are you a happy man? I, I am. The, and I don't, know if, I don't know if anybody garlicky. can see the grouper down underneath. Well, if the scapes are that garlicky, can't wait to taste the actual garlic. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out what veggie, maybe like a roasted Brussels sprout or something. I don't know. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know. Roasted beets with a little goat cheese on it. Ooh, that would be good too, yeah. <laughs> but this is such a unique flavor. It's a keeper. All right, I'm going to go grab my own dinner. Awesome. Awesome.